Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another installment of Seabass with Dill. Look, Valentine's Day is just right around the corner, and I know some of you want to impress that special someone with a nice homemade meal. Maybe you've got your protein ready, you're looking for some side dishes. You know, so today, we'll be doing some mashed potatoes. Now, mashed potatoes on their own, pretty plain and boring, and you want to impress this person, right? You're looking to jazz them up a little bit. How can you get more flavor in your mashed potatoes? Well, today, we'll be doing a roasted garlic basil mashed potato. Now, before we get into the recipe, please do me a favor, go ahead, like, subscribe, follow, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that when I post these recipes, you never miss one. So mashed potatoes, one of my favorite sides to do. I like using red bliss potatoes, so that's what we'll be using today. Some red bliss potatoes. Look, we're gonna leave the skin on. You don't have to if you don't want to, but these skins are very thin. There's a lot of nutrients and flavor in there as well. But again, do whatever works best for you. It's not a thick skin like an Idaho or a russet potato, so it's not really gonna deter. You're not gonna get like a dirt taste. Obviously, you wanna make sure that we rinse these off before we use them. But again, a little bit of texture in your potatoes. Leave the skin on, but if you don't want to, I totally get it. Now, because these are roasted garlic potatoes, we do need some garlic, whole bulb that we're gonna roast up. So for that, we'll also need some olive oil. We've got salt and pepper. One other ingredient we're gonna add to these is some fresh basil as well. Now, obviously we're making mashed potatoes. Heavy cream and butter is a must. Now, if you wanna use skin milk or water or whatever, feel free to do so, but they're mashed potatoes. They should be rich and creamy and delicious. So I like the butter and the heavy cream. My secret ingredient for mashed potatoes though, because we do need to season, right? Salt, pepper, season to your liking, whatever you wanna put in there but I strongly suggest using white pepper. White pepper is an underrated spice, but it goes great with mashed potatoes. Since these are roasted garlic mashed potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and roast up some garlic. Give that a nice cut, take that head off like so. Once we've got that garlic cut, we'll go ahead and put that on some aluminum foil. Make sure your oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil. And then we'll hit that with some salt. And for this, I like to use fresh cracked black pepper. Add that pepper. We'll go ahead, wrap this up nice and tight. And we're gonna put this in that 400 degree oven for about 40 minutes. All right, so our garlic is in the oven. Now it's time to get into these potatoes. Make sure you've got a pot of boiling water on the stove, put a little salt in there, and we wanna bring that up to a boil. For the potatoes, I'm just gonna cut each of these in half so that they're about the same size pieces so that they cook evenly. Again, I'm leaving the skins on here, but feel free to take them off if you like. Once we get these all sliced up, we're gonna go ahead and we'll add those to our pot of water. All right, so our potatoes are boiling right now. They only need probably about 12 to 15 minutes. We'll test those with a fork, right? When we can stick a fork right into the middle of them and they're nice and tender, that's when they're gonna be done. Now, lumpy versus smooth. Everybody has a preference, right? Me personally, I like mine a little bit lumpy. I like a little chew in there. But if you're one of those people who wants some smooth like baby food, then you're just gonna continue that mixing process a little bit further than I'm gonna do here in this video. Because these are roasted garlic basil mashed potatoes, now it's time for a basil. You need about six to eight good sized leaves, and we're gonna use what's called a chiffonade technique. And basically all that is, is we're gonna take those larger leaves and put the smaller leaves inside of them. We're gonna stack them all up like this. Also, make sure you save one of these basil flowers off the top. We'll use that for garnish at the end. Once we've got our basil leaves all stacked, we'll roll this nice and tight. I'll let you make your own jokes about that in the comment section below. But once we've got our leaves all rolled up really nice and tight like this, we're gonna go ahead and take our knife and we're just gonna slice this really, really thin. All the way down till we get to the stem there. And this is how you end up with some really nice basil ribbons that we'll go ahead and add into our potatoes once they're ready to go. So our potatoes are just about done. And now the important part is our cream and our butter mix. Right now, I use this same ratio anytime I'm making mashed potatoes, whether it's purple, whether I'm using russet potatoes or these red bliss ones like we have today. It's a perfect ratio for me that I think gives you a ton of flavor and a really good consistency for the potatoes. So for every one pound of potatoes, we need half a stick of butter and half a cup of heavy cream. Now, 
If you're on a diet or you have dietary restrictions or whatever, maybe the heavy cream and the butter is too much fat for you, you can certainly dial that down. But again, it's mashed potatoes. They should be creamy. They should be rich. They should be delicious. This is the ratio that I like to use. So our potatoes have been on for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna take my fork and look right into the middle here. No resistance whatsoever. Potatoes are good to go. So we'll go ahead and drain those off. So while those potatoes are draining, we'll go ahead and that same pan throw in our butter, our half a cup of heavy cream. The potatoes go right back in. And we're just gonna start to gently mash those up. See how easily those break up? Shouldn't have any pressure whatsoever. And we'll use the heat from the potatoes to melt this butter. Now that we've got those mashed up a little bit, we'll go ahead, we'll squeeze in our garlic. Look at that roasted garlic, Oh, We will throw in our basil. And then just continue to mash. That garlic, that garlic basil mixture just smells amazing already. Now, we've got a lot of flavor in here already. See how easily these mash up? That garlic's going to just incorporate right into those potatoes. It smells amazing. Now, last thing we've got to do is season these up with salt and pepper. So we go in with a little bit of salt. Now, potatoes can take on a ton, a ton of salt, but we always want to remember to taste as we go. That white pepper I told you about, much better than the black pepper. And then give that a good mix. Give that a little taste. Oh, that's good. Needs a little bit more salt though. So we'll finish this off with some salt and then we'll plate it up. Now, if you're gonna serve these up family style, good presentation, we just put this right into a nice big bowl here like this. Look at that, nice and creamy, just a little bit of lump. Like I said, I enjoy a little bit of lump, but if you want them smooth like baby food, go ahead and just mix those a little bit longer. But the consistency is great. The flavor is amazing. I'll give this a little shape like so. And the last part, we top that off with that garnish that we saved, like so. And that's our roasted garlic basil mashed potatoes. Just creamy and delicious, so good. That roasted garlic, the basil, the white pepper, just really bring this all together. Look, you're gonna love this for Valentine's Day, but this is a great simple side that you can use any night of the week. So, one of my first long format videos that I've done, go ahead, drop down in the comments what you like about this video, what I could do better, if there's something that you wanna see, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Until the next dish, y'all.